Hi there, this is a brief overview of the pressures that we find at the capillaries. First, we need to establish some groundwork. So we have the arterial end of the capillary, which is closest to the heart, and then we have the venule end, which is further away. Within the capillaries, we have big plasma proteins called albumin, and these are made from the liver. Albumin is too large to leave the capillary, and water from the interstitial fluid is attracted to the high osmolarity of albumin within the capillary. This can be measured as colloid osmotic pressure, and it is the same strength at the arterial and venule ends. Another pressure found at the capillaries is called capillary hydrostatic pressure. This pressure is the fluid trying to get out of the capillary into the interstitial space. This pressure is stronger at the arterial end as it's closer to the heart. As capillary hydrostatic pressure is larger than colloid osmotic pressure, a flow of fluid out of the capillary is created at the arterial end. As blood flows further away from the heart, the capillary hydrostatic pressure diminishes. At the venule end, the colloid osmotic pressure is larger than the capillary hydrostatic pressure, which creates a flow of fluid back into the capillary. The flow of fluid going out of the capillary at the arterial end is called filtration. The flow of fluid going back into the capillary at the venule end is called reabsorption. It should be noted that around 90% of the filtered fluid that reaches the interstitial space is reabsorbed back into the capillaries. This means around 10% remains in the interstitial fluid. The lymphatic vessels will collect this 10% of fluid. Now, if a person has hypertension or high blood pressure, their capillary hydrostatic pressure will increase. This will cause more fluid to be filtered out and less fluid to be reabsorbed. The result would be increased fluid in the interstitial fluid, causing edema. In another situation, if a person has hypoproteinemia or less plasma proteins in the blood, the osmotic pressure is going to be decreased. This will increase filtration at the arterial end and decrease reabsorption at the venule end. This will cause edema. This concludes the brief overview of capillary pressures. I hope this video helped you. Thank you.